We're going to go ahead and turn now to some of the other news of the day. And police in the Bronx are investigating a series of robberies targeting bodegas and delis. At least one suspect is connected to five incidents each time entering the store and demanding cash from the register. In one case, the suspects pepper sprayed the man behind the counter. I want to reporter Anthony Carlo spoke to that victim. He's live in Mott Haven with the story. Anthony. Well, Liz, uh, Pedro, that man who is uh, pepper sprayed is a father, a father of five who goes to work every single day trying to provide for his family. Now unsure if he can do so safely. We're here at the 40th Precinct, about a mile away from these grocery stores, filled with everyday hardworking people who are now being victimized by somebody taking advantage of them. As the cashier is pepper sprayed and drops to the floor, you can feel his pain. Ali says in that moment, only one thing crossed his mind. I was thinking about my kids when they spray me like they're going to show me. Even more cowardly than the robber with the pepper spray, the other police say armed with a gun walked around the counter to help empty the register. Ali on the floor with his eyes burning as they push the cash drawer on his head. Shameful, he says. We human. Why are you going to rub? It's not worth it to rub. 100, 200, really? Police say 400 bucks was stolen from MNS Candy and Grocery on 152nd Street the night of March 31st. But the score at the grocery store just down the block, much bigger, $4,000. That's probably a third of the profit for the week. The stick up just before midnight on February 10th was the first of five grocery store robberies within roughly a two block radius in the Bronx. Guy just walked in, like he owned the store. The robber, dressed all in black and carrying a gun, cleans out all three registers. The cashier, fearful to be at work ever since, the owner says. That you know, more police presence in the neighborhood would actually help, but after midnight, you don't see them driving around. There's no one walking in. Police say Ali's store hit not once, but twice. The 31-year-old father of five, including a one-year-old, just trying to support his family. The, the moment they hear about the I was in the hospital, they was like, oh, daddy. I was like, uh, this is okay, what's happening, what's happening. I'm sorry. What do you say to your kids? You certainly feel for that father there. Police are looking for two suspects. One of them they believe is connected to all five of these robberies. The other they believe was an accomplice in at least one of them. Marcia, who you heard from there, her grocery store has been open for decades. They've been in business that long, and she says this is the first time they've ever been robbed at gunpoint.